<laughs> Apparently it's Crazy Hair Day. So, welcome to the stream, everybody. My name is Pokey, and we are here to play some games. Uh, so, tonight we're going to be playing the Sega Master System uh, Castlevania-esque game Kensiden, which is basically Castlevania with uh, Japanese folklore demons or yokai instead of the universal monsters so instead of dracula you might see like firewheel demons and whatnot um same challenging gameplay as a platformer you have a you know a weapon with which uh, you have a melee weapon with which to fight the demons and you have to fight your way through several stages i'm really good at kinsiden uh i can beat the game in under 10 minutes um so tonight i'm going to be practicing uh, grinding through it for a world speed record because I think if I work at it if I put in the time to master it enough I can get the world record in Kinsid in any percent uh, which I think right now stands at like I think it's like seven minutes and 40 some seconds I can actually check that hold on uh... I am looking it up. <clears throat> I'm not running the timer today. I'm not doing my splits today. I'm not doing this um, in a professional setting today. today. I'm just sort of playing the game to refamiliarize myself with it and to have fun. So. I really don't like when web pages load a thing. All right. Uh, any percent. Okay, so right now we have a guy named Hurricane Mixer at 6 minutes 34 seconds. And then tied for second place are Ivanhoe, Oliveira, and General Maximus, who have done it in 6 minutes and 48 seconds each. Um... Seven months ago was the latest uh, upload for this. It's not a very popular speedrunning game, but it is one that I'll be practicing. Now, like I said, not doing my splits tonight, not doing a timer on the screen, not uh, brushing my hair. Obviously, I don't know what's going on with it today. I'm wearing my old ratty shirt that I love that's got holes all over it. Um, just here to kick back and have some fun. So, with that in mind, let us kin some Sidon. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, knew that was happening. Once again, I have a standing ask me anything policy. So, you know, if you want to ask me something in the chat or for my YouTube replay homies, if you want to ask me something in the YouTube comments, I will try to answer it. But this is Kinsiden. So first, I'm just going to run through the game. Not really going to be restarting if I mess up. Not going to have any trouble. As you can see, I'm not even really keeping a timer. Basically, I want to make sure that I have the routing down to get to and defeat the final boss without getting any of the health upgrades. Like, I've already ruined this. Speedrunners would have the first level done by now. Have, they'd be happy through the second level by now. I mean, the any percent, any percent of uh, speedrunning terminology. So, when I say a speedrun, uh, what that basically means is moving through the game as fast as possible um, and, com and beating the final boss, right? Uh, there are different variations of speedrunning. Uh, in this case, we're doing what's called an any percent. 
Now, there is 100% speedrun. There are three categories of speedrun for Kensington on uh, speedrun.com. Uh, there's the any percent, which is what I'm doing, where you just run through the game as fast as possible, doing the minimum uh, amount of content. And then there's the uh, all bosses, where you run through the game and do all the bosses, but avoid all the optional stuff. And then there's 100%, where you beat every level in the game. Any percent is when, you, uh, like I said, 100% is when you uh, complete every challenge in the game, and you get to if you just whoop it. Uh, my best time, I think, ever for Kinsinen is something like. I think, I think it's just under, uh, just under, or just over nine minutes, which would be, if I had, if I had uploaded, if I had recorded it and uploaded the video, uh, if, to speed, to speedrunner.com, it would put me in third or fourth place. But like, the any percent speed run right now is at six minutes and 34 seconds. It can be optimized. The, I watched the video of it earlier today, when I was at the airport, um, dropping my mom off. Slash with your sword. I'm good enough, I think, to get the world record, but it's not going to happen today. I really need to optimize the routing. I really need to uh, get better at certain portions, like this. And the first level, I really need to practice the first level a lot. The thing I really probably need to learn how to do is not have to go get these things. It would save me a lot of time to not have to go get that. But it's actually faster to get it here than it is to pick it up in the level with the Benkai Warlock. For me. And unfortunately, I need that health to beat the final boss. So I guess if I work on my execution on the final boss somehow, that will help too. Yes, Piper? Of course. Oh, well, that... And I died. Well, <laughs> there's that run out. <laughs> I'm going to complete the game anyway. Once again, I am playing this on the uh, Sega Genesis with a Mega Everdrive cartridge. So I'm using a Sega Genesis controller, which is so much better than a Master System controller. 
Because Master System controllers are marshmallow little pieces of crap. Something else I'd like to know is if, uh, if you have an opinion. I've been practicing, um, with, uh, Tetris 99. Like, I've been playing it for fun. And I consistently am getting in, like, the top 50 or top 30. Um, the problem is when I'm playing that game, I don't talk much. I concentrate really hard. So, oh, that's not good. Uh, I don't know if it just interrupted for you guys. Oh, I don't have my sword. Um, my HDMI cable seems like it might be going. But anyway, uh, would you guys want to see me play Tetris 99 and only talk between rounds? Sweetie. She's in here with me. Call her. I have a puppy visiting my house today. Okay, I'll bring her in there when I go to bed. Or if you just want to go to sleep, that's fine. Piper, you need to be in bed. Go to sleep. Good night, Piper. In a minute, sweetie. Castle does have everything we need in it. Not in here, it doesn't. Like I said, I'm just practicing optimization at this point. Go back downstairs and get another uh, potion. I realize I'm wasting way too much time doing this, but I need to practice the boss, and I can't beat the boss without that potion. I need the health. I'm, I'm not sure I can beat him with the potion. Oh. 
Oh, wow. I died. <laughs> I got stuck behind him. Hey, Indiana, how you doing? I told you I would in a second, sweetheart. There's no way I can beat it now. That's it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Playing Kinsadin. It's like Castlevania, but for the sake of Master System. <laughs> oh yeah, that boss has three health bars. That's the final boss of the game. <laughs> okay, um, let me go tuck Piper in real quick. I'm going to go on a very quick break, and I will be right back. Thank you for joining me. Please don't leave. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm back. So, uh, Indiana, welcome to Kensington. It's basically Castlevania, but with Japanese yokoi, yokoi, yokai, instead of uh, the Universal Monsters. And I have been playing this game for 30 years. Um, I'm actually really good at this game, and for a while I was good enough to try for a speedrun, uh, like a world record. But basically you, you fight through ancient feudal Japan uh, in the Warring States period, killing demons and finding scrolls to give you special powers. Thank you. 
Uh, for the, uh, uh, the intro of this game, uh, which I introed... Crap, I don't know what I think. Um, when I did the intro for this game, uh, basically it was for my YouTube viewers, because... You know, there was nobody watching at the time. But I mentioned, you know... Frump as hard as I can. It doesn't matter. Basically, I was talking about what a speedrun was, what the speedrun for Kinsinen was. How the speedrun for this game from start to finish is like 6 minutes and 34 seconds. And my best time is just over 9 minutes. As you can see, there's no timer on the screen. I'm not keeping track of my splits or anything like that. Although eventually, after I get a lot of practice in, I will do that. But for now, I'm just sort of fooling around with the game, working on my execution a little bit. I'm trying not to get hit, you know. I have learned the art of jumping high. practice this on an emulator, but, um, so I can do save states, uh, and then I, then what I can do is, shoot, save state at the beginning of a level, and just play that one level over and over again until I get my execution perfect. The problem is, um, I'll be using a different controller when I go for the actual speed run, so I need to buy or make an adapter that will let me plug my Genesis controller into my computer before I can do that. I meant to go here before I went to that other one. Oh well, that was double me. I have learned to slash with my sword. Yes, the spelling in this game is atrocious. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. 
So if you have any questions about the game, I would love to answer them for you. <laughs> It's actually faster to go through here than the other one. Okay, cool. I ruined his day. Son of a biscuit! That's gonna cost me some time. Freaking hate the RNG on those things. Started this at ten twenty, roughly, or thirty two uh, thirty five. But you kicking now? Um, Kinsiden. The game is called Kinsiden. Think of it like Castlevania, but set in ancient Japan instead of like Frankenstein.
I was brushing one of the dogs. She never liked being brushed before. She loves it now. Awesome! Uh, basically, I'm playing Castlevania, but for Sega Master System. And it's called Kensington. And it's awesome. And I'm trying for a world speed run. Which I'm not going to get today. Because A, I'm not even timing it. I'm just practicing my execution right now. But the world speed run for this game is like 6 minutes and 34 seconds. Jump high. I have learnt it. Go <coughs> here first. I need the slash. Sorry, I'm not talking too much. I'm trying to concentrate on being as fast as possible. Just a heads up, my friend does not have the other. That's cool. I can't afford to buy it right now anyway. <clears throat> I'm stuck with this laptop for a while. Nice. 
What time did I say I started this at? It was something 35. Die in the entrance to this level. That's a first. Son of a biscuit! First floor is the hardest. It was 3135 because it was 4310 when I finished. So 3135 to 4310 is 10 minutes, 11 minutes, 12 minutes, uh, it's about 11 and a half minutes. So I can beat the game with a couple of deaths and a couple of bad problems. Uh, I could beat the game in about in about 11, 11 and a half minutes. 
that's not even really trying that hard. That's enough to put me in third place. Yeah, I made mistakes. That that run was awful. Oh, I'm going by my live timer. Um. Uh, when when it started, it was twenty. It was thirty-one thirty-five when I started. It it was forty-three twelve when I stopped. Or forty-three ten. So like. The timer on OBS said 31.35 when I started, right? And then when I ended the game, it said 43.10. So that's 10, 11 minutes. 11 minutes, 35 seconds to do the whole game. <laughs> No, 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 no. I, I, I was doing number of minutes. So, so yeah, I think in 11 minutes and 30... 11 minutes and 30 seconds... Uh, thir 11 minutes and 35 seconds, I think, is, is, is a good run. Now, if I had recorded... Oh, I did record it. If I had... If I submit that run to the Kinson and Leaderboard, that would put me in... Fifth place. Um... Which you can't see it, but if you go to speedrun.com slash Kensington hashtag any, um, it'll... Uh, if, you, if you do the Kensington... If you speedrun.com and look up Kensington and go to any percent, um, you'll see the top three are six minutes and some change. Uh, number fourth is nine minutes even. And then fifth place is 14 minutes and three seconds. I can do the game much faster than I've done it. I've done it in just over nine minutes. So I think my best time right now, if I were to upload my best time, and this was not my best time, would put me in third, would put me in fifth place, but like nip it on the heels of fourth. Um, if I practice my my strats a lot, then I can. Pro I, I think I can get it down to world record speed, or at least I can tie the world record. <clears throat> so, but I've had enough grinding Kinsinen for one night. So let's play something fun. What would you like to see? Ooh, Ultima. <clears throat> you know, I've never actually played this. I don't rebooting! What? I don't understand your joke. My ass code not for auctioning. Okay. We're just gonna fool around with some Ultima for a minute. See how it plays. <clears throat> Ultima Four, Quest for the Avatar. Lord British and Origin Systems present Ultima Four. There's a demon and a dragon, and they're like chained up. That's cool. Let's see. In another world, in a time to come. Journey onward, initiate new game, return to the view. Let's initiate new game. By what name shalt thou be known in this world and time? P. Hey! 
Art thou male or female? I art male. The day is warm, yet there is a cooling breeze. The latest in a series of personal crises seems insurmountable. You are being pulled apart in all directions. Yet this afternoon's walk in the countryside slowly brings relaxation to your harried mind. The soil and strain of modern high-tech living begins to wash off in layers. That willow tree near the stream looks comfortable and inviting. The buzz of dragonflies and the whisper of the willows swaying branches bring a deep peace. Searching inward for tranquility and happiness, you close your eyes. A high-pitched cascading sound, like the crystal wind chimes, impinges on your floating awareness. As you open your eyes, you see a shimmering blueness rise from the ground. The sound seems to be emanating from this glowing color. <coughs> okay, I've um, got to go do with a kitty. Be right back. Sorry about that. Um, I'm dog sitting Zoe, my mom's dog, uh, while she's in on a trip, and uh, not Miko and Zoe just got in a fight, but they're fine. Too many numbers, not jokes. So confused, mind blow, done died. Lol. Okay. Okay. So it is difficult to look at the blueness. The light seems to bend and distort around it, while the sound waves become so intense they appear to become visible. The portal hangs there for a moment, then with a rush of imploding vacuum, it sinks into the ground. Something remains suspended in midair for a moment before falling to the earth with a heavy thud. Somewhat shaken by this vision, you rise to your feet to investigate. A crude circle of stone surrounds the spot where the portal appeared. There is something glinting in the grass. You pick up an amulet shaped like a cross with a loop at the top. 
There is an Ankh, the sacred symbol of life and rebirth, but this could not have made the thud. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you look again and find a large book wrapped in thick cloth. With trembling hands, you unwrap the book. Behold, the cloth is a map, and within lies not one book, but two. <gasps> the map is of a land strange to you, and the style speaks of ancient cartographers. The script on the cover of the first book is arcane but readable. The title is The History of Britannia, as told by Kyle the Younger. The other book is disturbing to look at. Its small cover appears to be fashioned out of some sort of leathery hide, but from what creature is uncertain. The reddish black skin radiates an intense aura, suggestive of ancient power. The tongue of the title is beyond your ken. You dare not open the book and disturb whatever sleeps within. You decide to peruse the history. Settling back under the willow tree, you open the book. You read the book of history. No, really, read the book of history. Oh, wait, am I supposed to read an entire friggin' book that came with this game? Closing the book, you again pick up the unk. As you hold it, you begin to hear a hauntingly familiar lute like sound wafting over the nearby hill. Still clinching the strange artifacts, you rise unbidden and climb the slope. In the valley below, you see what appears to be a fair. It seems strange that you came that way earlier and you notice nothing. As you mull this over, your feet carry you down towards the site. There is no ordinary traveling... This is no ordinary traveling carnival, but a renaissance fair. The pennants on the tent tops blow briskly in the late afternoon breeze. The ticket taker at the Ren Fair's gate, uh, not Miko, starts to ask you for money, but upon spotting your onk says, Welcome, friend. Enter in peace and find your path. The music continues to pull you forward amongst the merchants and vendors. Glimpses of fabulous treasures can be seen in some of the shadowy booths. These people are very happy. They seem to glow with an inner light. Some look up as you pass and smile, but you cannot stop. The music compels you to move onward through the crowd. Through the gathering dusk, you see a secluded gypsy wagon. Sitting in the woods, the music seems to emanate from the wagon. As you draw near, a woman's voice weaves into the music, saying, You may approach, O oh Seeker. This is a lot of freaking story. You enter to find an old gypsy sitting in a small curtained room. She wears an ankh around her neck. In front of her is a round table covered in deep green velvet. The room smells heavily of incense that you feel dizzy. Seeing the ankh, the ancient gypsy smiles and warns you never to part with it. We have been waiting such a long time, but at last you have come. Sit here and I shall read the path of your future. Upon the table, she places a curious wooden object, like an abacus, but without beans. In her hand, she holds eight unusual cards. Let us begin the casting. The gypsy places the first two cards upon the table. They are the cards of justice and spirituality. She says, consider this. Thou dost believe that virtue resides in all people. Thou dost see a robe steal from thy lord. Dost thou, A, call him to justice, or, B, personally try to sway him back to the spiritual path of good? So, if I believe in the virtue of all people, and I see a rogue stealing from the, my, the lord of my land, do I call him to justice, or do I personally try to sway him back? Uh, I mean, I would personally try to sway him back. Wait, first. The gypsy places two more of the cards upon the table. They are the cards of sacrifice and honor. She says, consider this. Thou art a bounty hunter, sworn to return an alleged murderer after his capture. Thou believest him to be innocent. Dost thou sacrifice thy sizable bounty for thy belief, or honor thy oath to return him as thou hast promised? I mean, if I believe him to be innocent, I'm not going to turn him in and let him get killed. Aggie just tried to scale the side of her cat tree, apparently forgetting I just turned her claws yesterday. Oh, have fun with that. I sacrificed the bounty. The gypsy places two more of the cards upon the table. They are the cards Compassion and Valor. She says, consider this. 
Thou dost manage to disarm thy mortal enemy in a duel. He is at thy mercy. Dost thou A, show compassion by permitting him to yield, or slay him as expected of a valiant duelist? I mean, if it was just in a, rank, in, in a regular duel, I'd show compassion. But she does say this is my mortal enemy, right? This dude has tried to kill me in the past. That's what mortal enemy means. The gypsy places two more of the cards upon the table. They are the cards honesty and humility. She says, consider this. The Lord mistakenly believes he slew a dragon. Thou hast proof that thy lance felled the beast. When asked, dost thou honestly claim the kill and, be the, and the prize, or humbly permit thy lord his belief? <laughs> no, it, I did it. He didn't do it. The gypsy places two more of the cards upon the table. They are the cards honesty and spirituality. She says, consider this. Thy friend seeks admittance to the spiritual order. Thou art asked to vouch for his purity and spirit, of which thou art unsure. Honestly express thy doubt, or vouch for him, hoping for his spiritual improvement. He's my buddy. Bros before Jesus. I feel like these are loaded questions and choices. The gypsy places two more of the cards on the table. They are the cards valor and sacrifice. She says, consider this. A mighty knight accosts thee and demands thy food. Dost thou valiantly refuse and engage the knight, or sacrifice thy food unto the hungry knight? I mean, like, if he's hungry and I'm not, he can have it. Accidentally falls over the castle walls, whoops. <laughs> the gypsy places the last two cards upon the table. They are the cards sacrifice and spirituality. She says, consider this. Thou hast spent thy life in charitable and righteous work. Thine uncle, the innkeeper, lies ill and asks you to take over his tavern. Dost thou sacrifice thy life of purity to aid thy kin, or decline and follow thy spirit's call? I mean, like, he's my uncle. I can still be spiritual and, and run a tavern. With the final choice, the incense swells up around you. The gypsy speaks, as if from a great distance, her voice growing fainter with each word. So be it, thy path is chosen. There is a moment of intense wrenching vertigo. As you open your eyes, a voice whispers within your mind, Seek the counsel of thy sovereign. After a moment, the spinning subsides, and you open your eyes to... East, west, east, north, enter Tawny, Minoc. Pass. Meet a massive guard. He says, I am a guard. Your interest? I am a guard. You see a massive guard. To guard, of course, is my job. His health is quite. I cannot join thee. <laughs> wonder if I, uh, your interest in the guard. I often wonder if I'll ever have time to, if I will ever have to give my life in the line of duty. Understand my dilemma? Yes. Of course, if it came down to it, I hope I would do it. One life for many. Your interest? Meet a rotund tinker. I am Shentis. Your interest? You see a rotund tinker. I welcome thee unto Minoc, city of sacrifice. His health is okay. I cannot join thee. I do not need thy gold. Self sacrifice is a needed virtue. Avatars strive to be virtuous. Dost thou strive for virtue? Then perhaps thou shalt become an avatar. Sure, let's go with that. Wayfarers in. a tinker at the table. I am Azure. 
I cannot join the... I call our runes. I carry the runes for passage to the shrines. Dost thou seek a rune? Yes. Which? Uh... Sacrifice? Ask my sister mischief. Stocky Ranger, he says, I am Mike Ward. I am trying to get a room. Well enough. I cannot join thee. I have traveled clear from Scarabray. The rune of our city is missing. Know thee of the rune? It is not in Scarabray. Teenage boy, he says, I am Alex. A teenage boy. I give out flowers, here you are. Fine, thanks. I cannot join you. I do not need that goal. The way I figure it, if thou art kind to others, thou will have reason to be kind in return. Yes, give all that thou can unto the needy, wilt thou give? Yes. Good. I cannot join you. Wow, okay. A wandering tinker. Nope. Alright. Nope. Get chest, use, ready, search. Nothing here. This sure is Ultima. All is dark. But wait. Where am I? Am I dead? Afterlife? Wait, did I die? Pokey. I feel motion. Lord British says, I have pulled thy spirit and some possessions from the void. Be more careful of the future. Wow, really? At long last, Pokey, thou hast come. We have waited such a long, long time. Lord British sits and says, a new age is upon Britannia. The great evil lords are gone, but our people lack direction and purpose. In their lives, a champion of virtue is called for. Thou mayst be this champion, but only time shall tell. I will aid thee any way that I can. Okay. I remembered why I don't like the Ultimate Games very much. Art thou well? The Ankh is the symbol of one who strives for virtue. Keep it with thee at all times, for by this mark thou shalt be known. What else? I rule all Britannia, and shall do my best to help thee. Else. Even though this great evil lords have been routed, evil yet remains in Britannia. If but one soul could complete the quest for the Avatar, our people would have a new hope, a new goal for life. There would be a shining example that there is more to life than this endless struggle for possessions and gold. What else? is killed! <laughs> All is dark. But wait. 
Where am I? Am I dead? Afterlife? Boki. I feel motion. I have pulled thy spirit! <laughs> Be more careful in the future! Don't pit me with your mace! Nice. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm not playing this anymore. Oh, Christ. That was awful. Jesus, that was a lot of story. Uh, is the Alien Syndrome one of the games I can't play? I don't know. Ooh, seizure procedure. Yep, nope. This one's. I need a different controller. Fatal Fury. Alright, you know what? Let's play some Sonic. Just for funsies. Or not. Apparently that one doesn't work. There we go. Sonic and Knuckles in Sonic 3. Who do I want to play as? Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Sonic and Tails. Let's go with Tails. Oh, I got first A, I guess. I play his tails. Platforming is a joke. Fire the whole world.
immunifier. And a fire shield. You know what? Screw you, Sonic 3. Let's play Space Harrier. I'm just sort of fooling around with stuff right now. Because I've I've kind of done what I set out to do, so I'm just sort of pocking around. Space Harrier 2. Fantasyland falls into crisis now. Stoner area, Arcalus. <laughs> nope, I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> something I can just sort of throw down with for a minute. This was the first Sega Genesis game I ever played. Unlike Sonic 3, Tails can't fly. He's literally just another Sonic.
I got a Chaos Emerald. Tails the Fox has canonically two tails, right? Like, and he can sp he can rotate them independently of each other, which is really creepy when you think about it, but that means he's got like a weird biological hinge, like spinny joint. Because things that go 360 degrees around are not common in nature, let's just... have a second asshole? Like, he's got a second tail. Does he have a second butt and a second anus? Does he have two digestive systems? It's something you've never thought about before, but now you can't unthink it. Spins like a hedgehog, right? Which means he, he has spiked his quill, he has spiked his fur to be more um, angular so he can damage enemies. But when he's spinning around like that, why aren't his tails spinning wildly? Just what kind of hinges are those tails on? gotta be on some sort of like Dyson vacuum style ball that just rotates around his whole body. Like they can't literally be tied into his spine, it doesn't work. I 
think they're spinning wildly if you look closer, just together and more deeply. Right, but like, his whole body is somersaulting. Which means his butt is going around and around. But his tails stick out. Look, see? They spin like this while he's doing this. Thanks, now I can't help but think of disturbing skinless animatronics. These are the kind of thoughts that kept me out of the really good schools. Because it's cute. The dev team were like, hey, let's make a deadly be cute. Ball of speed, literally take your skin off, but wait, with the tail sticking out, it's adorable, squee. Like you can see in this angle here that it's definitely connected to his spine. But how does that work? limited twitch emojis literally bother me well once I get more followers and make affiliate I can make custom emojis I know there's an extra life down there, but frankly, I don't want it. I'm surprised there's some general though. Twitch done could have made some mad green on their logo. That's the thing though, they do. There are cu there are uh, custom emojis when you subscribe to Twitch channels. Right? And Twitch makes money off every subscription. Like, when, you, it, it, when I make affiliate, you can pay $5 a month to subscribe to me. Um, Twitch keeps, like, two, 250 of that, I think. Twitch makes lots of money, and not even off ads. Huh. 
regret if you mess up. <laughs> Alright, let's do this right. Nice! <laughs> I love animatronics, but skinless? Yeah, well, I can't stand animatronics. Animatronics freak me the hell out. They've always freaked me out. Even before Five Nights at Freddy's came out. Can you imagine what Five Nights at Freddy's did to me? I used to panic when I heard that music and then speed up almost immediately get dead. <laughs> Are you talking about the boss music or the do -do 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 music? Like the underwater about to die music. What's wrong with me, lol? Well? I mean, you could always buy, like, a wooden ventriloquist puppet and wire it up that way, and wire that up to him. You'd only need, like, three servos. I never knew this did this! I've been playing this game for 30 years almost, or 20 years. I never knew you could float on that thing. need to replace that, uh, I really need to replace the, um, HDMI cable I'm using. Now that idea makes me want to be just used to make really creepy horror type things for haunted houses. Okay. If you're working with animatronics though, I'm, I'm out. I can't. Especially like fluffy mascot animatronics, I, I can't. I physically cannot help you with that. I don't think my heart can take it. of the Sonic games have you played? I've played all of them. Have I beaten them all? No. I've beaten um, Sonic 
and Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 2 and Knuckles, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, I've beaten the first episode of Sonic 4. I have played almost all the way through Sonic Adventure, the first one on Dreamcast. Uh, but not all the way through it. I've never played Sonic Forces. I couldn't get more than about 10 minutes in a Sonic Boom before I just decided that I, I would rather cut myself. Fluffy ones are the worst. The texture adds something sinister, like something that will pop out of the fur and kill you until they get it. Uh, Sonic Forces I've never played, Sonic Mania I've never played, Sonic Generations I've played a little bit. I did a lot in uh, Sonic Team Racing, just because it was fun, or Sonic, Sonic, and All, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. I had them on PC, that's probably the best Mario Kart clone. That's not actually Mario Kart that I've ever played. I've played a lot of Sonic games. I played that creepypasta game, Sonic.exe. I actually own Sonic, Sonic 2 and Sonic and & Knuckles in cartridge format. Um, like, and Sonic and & Knuckles is that weird, like, lock-on cartridge that you could put, um, you could plug other Sonic games into and have them... You could just play as Knuckles in, like, the older Sonic games. Like, you could play as Knuckles in Sonic 2, even though he wasn't in the game, if you lock it on to... Sonic and Knuckles. The problem is you can't beat the final bosses, Knuckles. Well, you, you can. It's just much, much harder. Because you have to hit him in the front instead of the back. Because Knuckles can glide, but he doesn't quite jump that high. Which was my favorite? The one I've played the most is Sonic 2. Um, of the like 2D platformer Sonic games, I think Sonic 3 and Knuckles is the best one because it's the biggest in scope and it has like all kinds of uh, differences in the levels and stuff. Um, as far as 3D Sonic games, I haven't played a lot of them. Um, I didn't like Sonic Unleashed very much. I'm sorry, Sonic the Hedgehog is just not a werewolf. Oh, I'm sorry, a werehog. You know, I didn't play, um, so I, I couldn't play Sonic Boom for very long. Uh, the, I think the one I've had the most fun with recently was uh, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed on my PC. But then again, I love Mario Kart games, so. Oh, no! Uh, freaking Sonic Riders. Um, the one where they rode like hoverboards on, in a racing game. That one was fun as hell. If I, had, if I absolutely have to pick a favorite, that's gonna be it. The one on GameCube? My favorite game with Sonic in it, like, period, might be Smash Bros. Ultimate. Just because it's so much fun to play. That's what I need to play here on the stream for a while. Uh, you seem to know a lot about Sonic. What's your favorite Sonic game? There were several on GameCube, like they re-released both, both of the Sonic Adventure games on GameCube. Uh, Sonic Riders is not, 
pretty sure that's the name of it. Um, it's not so much a Sonic platformer as it is a racing game where you ride hoverboards, but it's fun. Oh, and Shadow the Hedgehog was dumb. Like, just the dumbest. Oh yeah, I played the um, Game Gear versions of Sonic a bunch. Oh, and Mean Bean Machine. I played Mean Bean Machine a lot. But then again, I like puzzle games. Sonic Colors was alright. This is probably my second least favorite um, level in this game. The music is just so funky. Just another trick for getting up there. What's your favorite zone in this game? This is my second least favorite zone, but it's got my second favorite music in the game. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't realize my voice was that quiet. I asked what was your favorite um, stage in this game? Like, what's your favorite stage and what's your favorite music? Mine are both the same thing. But like, this stage here is my second least favorite stage and my second most favorite music. <laughs> Which is weird. 
my least favorite stage is Oil Ocean Zone. I just hate that. And my most favorite stage is, I think, the one coming up. After I beat this one. I like the pinball stage a lot and enjoy all the music in the game. I get that. You can't really narrow it down because you haven't played this game in a while. I get it, totally. Um, but I mean, I, my, my thoughts on this game are cemented into place from playing it over and over and over again when I was a kid and teenager. If I'd come out of there, I wouldn't have had any rings. Well, that's why I didn't do the bonus. And I know that I can beat that boss faster if I have rings. I like the pinball stage one. Um, Oil Ocean Zone is just confusing, and I don't like the like color palette of it, and it just doesn't do good for me. However, this is my favorite stage in the game. The Mystic Cave Zone. Let's just take a minute groove on that. This is probably my some of my all-time favorite video game music is the Misty Cave Zone music. I actually may download this and use it as a ringtone on my phone, just because I love this music so much.
I just love the opening riff. I eventually want to do uh, animated intros for my different shows. And I want to use that as the music for one. I don't know which one though, if it's if I should use it for late night pixel fight, or if I should use it for uh, family game night. What do you think? Like, of my shows, uh, and right now my current shows are just my normal stream, uh, Late Night Pixel Fight, and uh, The Education of Piper, and Family Game Night. Of my shows, which one do you think would have would be best served by the intro music being this? I would say Family Game Night, but of course it's up to you, it would be fun either way. That's just, that's one of the ones, I mean, I was leaning towards either Late Night Pixel Fight or Family Game Night. As the, uh, as whichever, as the, the one that needs this music. Oh, I'm totally gonna download this and add it to my, uh, like, break music, though. Just to groove on it. Ten out of ten says the judges on the springboard flips. Yeah, seriously. I do not remember what the boss was for this one. make tails dance.
We go from the high that was Mystic Cave Zone to the dredges of low that is Oil Ocean Zone. Or, as my friends call it, American Imperialism, the Sonic level. Not even gonna do the thing. One, you can't, there's no super tails. So even if I get all the chaos emeralds, there's no point. Two, I want out of this zone as fast as effing possible. There's a sound test of the options. I, like, I know there's a cheat code in, involved with it, but, like... I wonder if I could just play the music from the zone I like, without having to play the game a little through it. Yeah, I can't stand this stage. First of all, I don't like the color palette. The color palette hurts my eyes. Second of all, it is very confusing. people when they think of um, this uh, when they think of Sonic 2 they don't think of the freaking this stage right because this is the stage that nobody thinks about because this is the stage that nobody freaking likes what the heck
to fight the oil snake. Plus, I'm not a fan of the music on the stage either. It's like, I don't get what being a snake charmer, which is what that music is, has to do with oil in like industrial zones. This stage would be a lot more fun if it, was, if it wasn't a maze. Really, pretty much everything after Mystic Cave Zone. It's all downhill after Mystic Cave Zone. Let's see about playing the sound test and see if I can play that music for a minute but then then I think I'm gonna end the stream Sega! Oh, wow. <laughs> Did I kill all sound? <laughs> I did. Okay, there it goes. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sound, I think, just died when I was running through the sound test. So, and it just killed the sound for the whole game. Anyway, oh, it's been fun. Thank you for joining me for this late night pixel fight uh, where I played some Kensington and some Sonic and, you know, some fun stuff. Um, I had fun, and I will definitely be playing tomorrow at my regularly scheduled time from three i'm going to be continuing Golvelius. so um i will see you tomorrow thank you for joining me and i hope you have a wonderful evening